All right, so we, we're still doing this beer thing, but uh, unfortunately I opened it before, you know, because I was like, okay, this is one of these novelty ones, chocolate coconut candy stout by Untitled Art. And I'm like, this is going to be garbage. I'm just probably not going to finish it. But this is mildly surprising. I think these people also made the peanut butter and jelly one, and I was like, whoa. You know, it wasn't that great. This is 8% alcohol. Right, nice little artwork they got here, untitled, right? So anyways, it's a chocolate coconut candy stout. It sounds like a disgusting combination. And you can almost see, you know what, let's see inside. Hopefully it doesn't flip out. Oh. I'm not sure if it comes across, but you can kind of see the lactose or the sugar or whatever on it. It's not your clean beer bubble stuff. It's not that trend. It's, it's, there's just some stuff on there. I think it's the sugar or something, but even though it's 8% alcohol, you don't really taste it. So there's not too much alcohol, but it's not covered up by just the syrupy sweetness. It's actually quite pleasant. It's, it's chocolate, coconut. You can taste it. It's, it's like a mild chocolate flavored coffee almost. There's no coffee flavor in this, but it's it's a very mild taste, despite this kind of novelty candy bullshit they're putting on there. And our last experience with the peanut butter and jelly one, or whatever it was, that one was just like, bah. This is pretty good. You know, if you told me to drink this, and you said this is some weird chocolatey drink, um, I, I'm feeling a little coffee in here. You know, if you tell me this is some chocolate coconut coffee, I would be like, mm, okay, that's a cold coffee, right? I would say, all right, fine. I cannot taste the alcohol in this. If you just told me this is, you know, this is um, chocolate coconut coffee, cold coffee, cold black coffee, it's a little sweet, so it's not too dark, right? I'd be, okay, this is a pretty decent coffee. A weird coffee. I don't taste the alcohol. At all. Anyways, let's see what the beer snobs have to say about this. Um, there are 15 ratings. 85 very good. Which is not a huge score. It's not a bi big score, but I think it's fine. I think it's much more than very good. I think it's pretty much... Especially, you know, from that lower expectation of this is some novelty garbage uh, swill, if you will. Um, but I uh, know this is pretty good. Let's see what they say. 2.38. That's a low out of five. Bought this a while. Uh, bought this in a while while traveling out of state. Glad it was just a single. Not a huge fan. One of the worst looking beers I've had, especially for a stout. Now maybe that's why we like it because I do like stouts. I do like stouts, and even if they try to junk it up with chocolate coconut, it's good. Mocha Cutler and I could see the yeast clumps while pouring. Yeah, I think we could see some of it on the bottom, right? No. That might be up top or something. It, it does not look very appetizing. I'll, I'll give you that, but whatever. No had tons of floaties. I like IPAs and have definitely had a range. I'm no stranger to foreign substances, but this one definitely got by someone. Smell was heavy coconut. It doesn't smell like too much, actually. There's a coconut taste. I don't smell too much of it. Tastes like chocolate powder and of a similar consistency. Yes, there's the chocolatiness to it. It's not too strong, though. No real carbonation, but the yeast clumps help with the chewy texture. Mm. Drain pour, and I don't do that often. No, come on. The peanut butter and jelly one, uh, that was a drain pour, although I drank it, but that could have been a drain pour. This is not a drain pour. Um, empty glass again from Massachusetts. A uh, 4.12 out, of, four, uh, out of 5, modeled after the popular and traditional chocolate-covered coconut candy bars, Untitled Art sees inspiration for their imperial pastry stout in childhood flavor memories, but with a boozy adult kick for mounds and mounds of fun. Okay, seems like, uh, you know, the company itself wrote this. Maybe it's on the side of the bottle, who knows. Um, full creamy lush, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, another sweet stout beer from this brewery. Each one is a different flavor. This is 3.65 out of 5. 
Like going to Baskin Robbins, good dessert, but not a beer to drink too often. I would agree with that. It's a desserty beer. I would say it's a desserty beer. But it's good. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's surprisingly good. So that's all I have to say about it. It's pretty good. And uh, there we go.